I decided to try to make my own overflow reservoir for uh, the cooling system and I've been marking up this uh, piece of aluminium normally you should make like one of these and you bend this in 90 degrees I don't have any tools to bend it like so it looks good so I just cut in pieces and I weld everything together <laughs> I just mounted the overflow reservoir and looks good, very steady. As you see this is going from here to into a hose and in here somewhere. And this uh, 38 millimeter pipe gonna connect the hose to here to there. And I have like one here, one here, and on the inside, we have this one. So, it's very, very, very steady. So, I have had a bit of a leak uh, on the steering side. These were leaking. And it's pretty dirty out there, but it's gonna sit there. I've been working my ass off with this uh, piping. And everything else I just uh, lay down this wheel I figured out the, the way I wanna I'm gonna have the plumbing for boom, 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 boom. put it into cooler I'm gonna have this pipe weld it onto the turbo maybe with the v, v flange over here so I can take it off easy and over here and then I go and have a bend from there goes into this bracket that I'm gonna remove and down to this so so I only have like these to the intercooler and and over here I mounted this one and I tagged decent place. I don't know if this um, to have it like this if it's bad or not but to me it seems okay so let's try that. The bend I was welding uh, was is supposed to sit here so it's gonna be welded on here and I don't know yet how I'm going to do with the defaulting system if I'm gonna weld it on here, weld it and weld and just take it off here, but that's 
maybe gonna be a problem when I when I take the manifold off. But I don't I don't I wanna get rid of all those uh, silicone hoses because uh, I'm gonna build up a lot of pressure this year so for less of these and less boost failure but I need to have like one maybe three or something because here up I have a v-flange or just a pipe welded onto a turbo I don't know yet and over here I'm gonna have this one Or maybe I should get like a new intercooler to fit this uh, two and a half inch pipe. And you see I have like a dripping pan over here, an oil pan. It's because I tried to fix a leak before and uh, I got it even worse. So I don't know what's up with that, but I'm gonna check it out later. But anyways, uh, that's where I am right now and let this piece cool down. Then I'm gonna mount it, or mark it up, and <clears throat> take the manifold off so I can tag it in place and mount it again and see if it works. I really hope it does. Just to give you a perspective of a few hours I got left to build this. So the clock is now 20 minutes after 8. It's Saturday. Tomorrow, Sunday morning, and this is gonna start. This is gonna run and I really hope I can and take it outside and uh, drive around the parking lot for see if everything works as it should work. This is how far I have I'm at. This side is fully done. Well led to the intake manifold. Only one here. One uh, silicone uh, fitting there and one over here. This one I need because it's uh, three inch and this is two and a half so maybe I will redo that in the future oh yeah I I taken the housing off uh, the turbo I'm gonna weld this onto onto the side of the turbo so now I'm ready to cut in my brand new turbo uh, doesn't feel so good but uh, I taped it all up so it can come dust in anywhere so I doesn't need to clean it as much I also put some paper inside of it or when I'm cutting so so the plan is to cut it here this one the way I can fit this right on it's gonna look like this I really hope I don't mess the housing up so but I give it a try Stefan and I are timing the engine. Stefan did find out that the, the valves were open when they're supposed to be closed. So we don't know yet what's causing the problem, the issue. It's been a stressful few hours. I was uh, like very excited and glad and everything and it all went down because we found out that the lifters I had where it was stuck. If you can see here, this little this little pin in here, you need to push them down. And this is stuck. This is how it should be. Maybe if I do it like this. This is okay, and this is not okay. I took this out, did clean it, and now it works, this one. So I just need to do that on all 12. If I do that on all 12 of these, 
then we'll be uh, ready to go again. So, yeah, I don't know what to say, but uh, I'm, I'm not a mechanic, so I couldn't see this problem by, by myself. And um, the, the way we did find out that the valves were open, we could see uh, there was no, nothing in between uh, the hydraulic lifter and the, the camshaft. And also we looked in, uh, in the valves uh, and saw that they were a little, little bit open. I'm gonna do it like this, uh, take them apart, see if I can take them apart, clean them and put them in the engine again. And the stiff one comes, comes back and then we time it and then we see if we can crank it over and start this diesel bitch. Race gas. Diesel. <laughs> Around 10 liters or something. Good to have. Good, good, good. Den är för dig själv. Den är löst nu, hörde du. Ja. Den här vävs nu. Den här. Vad gammal är du, Vilo? Fjå. Nej. Vad gammal är du? Jag kommer efter fyra. Fem år. Fem år, ja. Det var det jag sa nu. Mm -hmm. Mhm. Vad får man inte den här till? Kan man ska ha en mindre skruvmässig eller en mindre av den där? Som inte är lika stor i änden. Här är en liten test, ja. Mhm. Mm Vad? Ska jag se. Willem just uh, turned his engine on over there. It's a little bit messy, so I need to clean it up. It looks like I can't find anything on this workbench anymore. I don't know where I have everything.
So after a whole day actually we started up as you can see and over here everything worked good. So the next session I'm going to mount the intercooler the piping and take the car outside and uh, just let it run so it gets warm and see if everything cools down and everything as it should do. After that we're going to mount the VEMS ECU to control the water pump and the methanol pump. That's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. It's been a very long episode so bear with me and um, if you want to see more of uh, this car, this diesel stuff, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and please leave a comment below about what you think or feedback or something like that. Have a good one.